Okay, so here is the charging and the benefits of the charging app to use. I found out it's much lighter footprint application, so it's respond faster. It's a much faster render, and uh, out of the box, the renders look more realistic and less grainy. So the atmosphere settings is applying quite a bit nicely. As well, the working with the terrains and the interaction between surfaces and terrains, it's quite a bit nicer and big uh, pluses of this when you start work with these terrains and kind of try to merge together different type of terrains you will notice how well they're blending together there are also other huge different it is a pricing if you're going with the this is kind of toss because a VU provide multiple versions and a benefit of VU you can buy a basic and you can add components as you're going with a Turagen, you have some limitations. You can have uh, different versions. For example, you have Creative, which is a, um, just almost introduction, but it's got core tools. And you can see the price is going to the highest one, normal sale at $700. It is, will include everything, professional process animations that we need locally with more. And uh, again, if you compare this to the VU and we'll go to professional tools, you'll notice the extreme it's a thousand dollars more and infinity is twice as price plus you need to buy additional license if you're using or other things um, however VU does provide subscription options that is can split the cost during the monthly the, as well for the more enthusiast you have a different versions a sprint and include also free versions as well with the um, charging you can download it trial version and also um, just 30 days and you can work with the application, see how it's work. Uh, price point, how I said, it's a little bit cheaper right now. Um, uh, health price or less on the charging. So the, if that is a point for you, this is kind of to consider. Um, next, how I said before, it is uh, components. When you start work, it's quite a bit nice. They're very flexible and just changeable. So you can use for shaders or terrains. Um, you also, the water is inside the charging is look much more realistic and uh, add additional options that inside the view not get available like a um, wind ghosting another effect. Um, however, inside the view, you have some nice options on the water so you can apply a multiple different effects. And, but overall, I find out that inside the detergent, the water developed just a little bit better. Um, I mentioned about surface material several times, and reason is why, because they are most powerful and they ha uh, way ahead of the materials and split inside the view for the realism and creations. Um, also, if we notice about animations. So we had before, um, Right here we have an animations panel that is VU provide as well animations options. And you can also access inside the VU to see all the graphs necessary. However, I found out that um, working inside the detergent is a little bit nicer and less give you side effects on the curves and everything. As well inside the detergent, the Animations and everything can be going between um, FBX uh, format inside the VU. You have it, you can import export cameras, but it's always not the strongest part of the VU. So uh, I will say the probably animations tools at this moment in Turgeon just slightly better than inside the VU due to the integrations with other ones. And also you, you notice on every components when you select you have it options to animate each of that as well of the component however inside the view you can do almost same set keyframe on almost any component as well but it's a little bit different way to do this um, and in some ways it is done for you automatically for example with atmosphere you can pre-animate it or other things and how say right here we can same thing similar right here so we can go add keyframe you know move around and you can see it's 
in my case, I said after keyframing enabled, so it's automatically created. But same things, you can animate a little bit different ways. So uh, instead of selecting animations on a side, you just go and enable keyframe and animating or add keyframe otherwise as well. The one interesting thing is about Terrigen, and it's kind of I want to bring it is creating different planets and how all to understand how different approach both of these environments have it to creating. For example, inside the view, if we're taking, if I want to create the planet, I can go inside um, properties. Okay, actually, right here, and you go to my properties instead. And I can apply set spherical and use a planetary terrain and maybe set, you know, let's set to 200 meters, very small one. So in this case, right here, you can see we created planet. But again, this is single. And many times I find it's a little bit difficult to work with a camera on that scale on a planet to set up properly. But again, you can create one planet. You can apply to this and work around so it's spherical. Uh, Terrigen have a more interesting, unique approach because each um, object right here is considered as a planet. So I actually can go inside. I can add even a second planet. And one interesting thing, if you look, okay, let me zoom out of this. Okay, so we kind of zoom out. You'll notice right here we have it different. It's actually... Let's go closer right here one planet and another one this is virtual big world and this is two planets it's kind of interesting because i can go inside directly this planet and it will be same effect as other ones so what i was meaning it is we'll have this um on the surface and everything will be similar to other ones so it's kind of nice when you start working this way so in this case you can creating um surfaces and other things so it's almost like you're creating different virtual worlds and you can access and working with them um it's just different approach so it's not one center place you can create a multiple different places and you can actually create them um that is interesting way um, when you're creating realistically and you want to maybe jump between different planets or other things, this is a nice way to approach. I don't know how often you will actually use this, but overall this I want to show so understanding how the Terrigen approach each um, environment. So it's creating spherical, your other default, you're creating this planet, this spherical environment, and whatever you apply at rest, it will apply around this. By default, it's creating sphere. In the view, if you just start and you're creating a new environment, this is just creating infinity flat terrain. So it doesn't matter how far I go, it always will be flat. And to specify this curve and everything, I actually need to go inside the properties options and modify through those settings to set this is actually round. Um, speak about infinity terrain, I found out that infinity terrain inside the VU. They're nice, they're kind of displacing, but work with them quite a bit harder and less predictable than inside the Terrigen, because inside the Terrigen I can easy create, this is by default infinity because it's going around, but control height and shape, it's much easier inside the Terrigen than inside the VU. Um, next, the uh, Turgeon, much easier and better support of the imported maps if you're using any of the DM maps generated or loaded from high field or Turgeon format. This is much more accurate and easy to integrate. As well, um, additional fractals for small details applied. So it does not, your terrains when you're loading, that does not look off scale from your different so for example i can load it mountain on the middle here and it will integrate it very well together um, however in vu many times when i needed to implement the terrain i found to spend more time 
and a little bit harder to merge them together to kind of let blend and work a little bit on details in this case. Um, also, Terragen provide additional components that lay a bit nicer, like um, you can apply rocks, you saw we did before as well, we can apply infinity grass or um, creating some coverage, which is work very well and create realistically grass patches on a distance as well. So it will be work similar to the rocks and it does not take as much resources as if you populating with the objects. Um, the working with cameras, um, we provide quite a bit extensive options for the cameras post process as well as a camera management. However, um, I noticed that uh, in the Terragen, the cameras manipulation and work is a little bit more advanced to settings. So you have more options as well as more flexible to set up the cameras. You can also set up as multiple different renders. Um, and uh, connect those renders to the different multiple cameras, set properties. And when you render, it's much easier. Just go inside and select which render you want to perform currently from the uh, preview or other ones and adjust same way. Um, so on your screen, on this case, we can go just drop details. So you can do on your previews as well. And it's kind of nicer about this. Uh, one thing I wish the Terragen will provide options to render details for me so I can set on different views, different um, render, maybe even up to 90% or maybe on some ones, but some other ones when I just need position, I can set a different render quality for different views. But I think that may come in a future application, so I don't know. But just overall, that will be nice options to have. But render and camera setup, it's much um, nicer and easy to work inside the church and that inside the view. Overall, I will say that um, depend on what you try to produce, the both applications, it's very nice tools to use. And again, treat them not as a, which one I should dedicate. Mostly, I personally access them and I see one tool is better for one and another for maybe different things. Um, Vu does provide easier and faster stop original sin, uh, sans and uh, adding, manipulating with some objects. However, on my opinion, the Terragen provide a little bit more realistic uh, view and renders at this time, as well as terrains and other options. Uh, best way for you to decide is look on tutorials that I provide for the Terragen and Vu and look a little bit more in details. As well, you both applications provide um, free um, trials or extended trials like Pioneer with the watermarks and other things. So you can try and see which one is more closer to your style of the creating and working with different applications. And uh, again, thank you for watching this um, kind of comparison. And I probably miss a lot of points that... Um, Sometimes hard to remember because it's naturally when you work, you kind of don't even notice them. But as long as when I find more, I'll probably create add-on uh, video recording to this overview so we can look a little bit more in the details. And again, check uh, my tutorials about Terragen and Vu closer so you can see better for yourself which one applications is work better for your needs. Thank you again for watching this and please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.